Engineers from a Rostec subsidiary have developed a wearable emergency reserve, NAS, in the form of a waistcoat for Russian Air Force pilots. The design includes ballistic packages made of aramid armor, providing protection from pistol bullets and shrapnel. The development will increase the pilot's survivability in case of ejection or forced landing. This was reported in the press service of the state corporation. The waistcoat is equipped with an evacuation system with strong straps and carabiners for quick climb aboard a rescue helicopter. It integrates a flashlight beacon with a range of up to 3 km and an IR module for detection in low visibility conditions, as well as a liquid-free compass functioning in the temperature range from minus 60 to plus 50 degrees Celsius. An inbuilt universal holster with a customizable fit for a specific brand of pistol allows you to accommodate your personal weapon. The kit also includes a knife, first aid kit and water supply. Tests have shown that the waistcoat can withstand overloads of up to 9G, airflow at 1,470 km per hour and high temperatures in a fire. Such capabilities of the waistcoat will protect pilots in extreme combat conditions. Similar NAZs are already available in Russian aircraft today, but the key difference is that they lie separate from the crew, for example, in stowage under the ejection seat, and there is a possibility of losing them during an emergency abandonment of the aircraft, Rostec said in a statement. The representative of the state corporation added that the NAS in the form of a waistcoat is more reliable, significantly alleviates the impact of overload and helps the anti-overload suit to work. Rostec is currently preparing for serial production of new NAS vests. The first batch of these products is expected to be released this year. They should soon be delivered to the troops and complement the equipment of combat pilots. Pilots will be able to fully appreciate all the advantages of the vest and its components, and, in appropriate situations, implement their advantages in practice. In terms of the main design features, the new Rostec development is an unloading vest with all its characteristic features. At the same time, the vest for pilots has several specific features related to the tasks being solved and the requirements for it. The design is based on a vest with a solid chest section and a narrow back section connected by a system of belts. The vest is put on in the traditional way and fastened with a front zipper. The chest section of the product has mall straps for attaching pouches and other equipment. Internal pockets are also provided. The chest and back parts of the vest have pockets for placing aramid armor packages. Protection levels bridge 1 and C2 are provided. The user is protected from pistol bullets and small fragments. The vest has a built-in suspension system consisting of durable textile straps, loops and carabiners. The main loop is large and is located at the back of the vest collar. This system is designed to move and evacuate an injured pilot in various conditions. In particular, it allows for lifting with a winch. The new NAS kit includes all the necessary tools and equipment. The pilot receives an emergency food supply, a water bottle and an additional container with a filter, as well as a first aid kit with a wide range of medications. In addition, there is a survival knife, a liquid-free compass and signaling equipment. A special flashlight beacon with several operating modes has been developed for the NAS vest. The visible light mode serves for illumination and signaling, and the blue light filter allows you to search for traces of blood. There is also an infrared flashlight mode. All elements of the NAS are placed in pouches of various shapes and sizes, which are suspended from the vest. Thanks to this, the user has constant and convenient access to any means. In an emergency, this can be critical.
For self-defense, the pilot must use a pistol of one of the models in service. It is proposed to carry the weapon in a universal holster, adjustable for a specific model. The holster, along with other pouches, is hung on the vest. Rostec is currently preparing serial production of the new vest with NAS. Shipment of the products may begin as early as next year, subject to an order from the aerospace forces. The developer organization makes positive forecasts and expects to receive a contract. It is quite possible that the VKS will really show interest in the new NAS vest and decide to introduce such products instead of existing analogs. This will be facilitated by a number of characteristic features of the new system, due to which obvious advantages of various kinds are achieved. First of all, the concept of the new project itself is of interest. It is proposed to abandon a separate container with all its characteristic shortcomings and risks. All necessary means are constantly present with the pilot, and he can use them at any time and without effort. At the same time, such NAS does not require additional efforts for carrying in an emergency. The composition of the NAS components was determined taking into account the requirements of the VKS and potential users. At the same time, it included newly developed means, such as a multi-mode flashlight beacon. In essence, we are talking about the development of existing kits using the latest solutions and samples. It should be noted that the unloading vest with a set of pouches has specific ergonomics. Numerous protruding elements can interfere with the pilot's placement in the cockpit and impair the convenience of his work. However, the modular mall system allows you to place pouches and elements of the NAS in an optimal way and avoid possible problems and difficulties. Russian industry is developing survival and rescue systems, and regularly presents new models of this kind. The latest development in this area is the NAS vest, designed to replace existing types of kits. It is expected that the aerospace forces will begin to receive such products en masse next year, and this will have a positive effect on the issues of rescuing pilots in difficult situations.